And the premise of this series comes from a book that came out several years ago, written by a pastor local here to Charlotte. His name is James Emery White. He pastors Mecklenburg Community Church over on the other side of town from us. And uh, the book is called The Rise of the Nuns, the N-O-N-E-S, Nuns. The Rise of the Nuns. The Rise of the Nuns. And you hear that, The Rise of the Nuns, and you might picture right away these Catholic nuns who went really bad and they grabbed some weapons. And the title comes from in, on the census. Uh, when you're working on the census, there is a box that asks you your, your religious affiliation. And the amount of people that are now checking the box, none, has grown by 300% in the last 20 years. Mormon, other, or you can check none, N-O-N-E. No religious affiliation at all, no faith at all. And more people in 2010 and in 2020 chose the none choice than any other choice. In fact, the past 20 years, the choice none has risen by 300%. Now, the reason for this is I don't think that most of the Now, it's because uh, many of us are coming to a place in our life where we think, well, I'm not so sure what I believe. These nuns are against God. I don't think they hate God. I think it's because people aren't sure what they believe. From our faith. And what I want to do over the course of this series is just raise a question. Could it be that possibly, just, just maybe, you walked away from your faith unnecessarily? If you've walked away from God, do you think you've done so unnecessarily? There, there's basically, when it comes to God, there's two categories of people. There, the first category are, are people that say, I believe that there is a God. The question can be broken up into two main categories. Category one is, yeah, I believe there is a God. And, and maybe you're in this category because you grew up with it, or you went to church as a kid, and maybe you went to Catholic school or Christian school. And Yes, God is real. And this category, this person grew up going to church, or they went to a Christian school or a Catholic school growing up. Their grand can, can I just tell you this? You're not alone. Let me tell you this. You are not alone. In, in fact, for all of human history, we've been questioning if we believe in God. Not to quote the king of pop, Michael Jackson, but it's true. You are not alone. From the beginning of humanity, people have doubted God's existence. For thousands of years, we've been disbelieving in one God after another, after another, after another. Think about it. Many, many years ago, the most sophisticated civilization on the planet believed in the sun god. At one point, the most civilized empire on the planet, Egypt, they worshiped the sun as God. And then after that, the most sophisticated civilization on the planet believed in Zeus. And then at another point, the most sophisticated civilization on the planet, the Greeks, they worshiped Zeus, a mythological god. In after that, the Roman Empire believed in a pantheon of gods, and it had Jupiter and Mars, and there were plenty of others that were in that. Between Egypt and the Greeks were the Babylonians, they worshiped human leaders as God. After that, the Romans, they worshiped the planets as God. In fact, there's a famous atheist, his name is Richard Dawkins, and this is what he says about this whole idea of what it means to disbelieve in God. He says, we're all atheists about most of the gods that humanity has ever believed in. Some of us just go one God further. Throughout all history, all we've been doing is disbelieving in one God after another or believing in the wrong God. There's a well-known atheist named Richard Dawkins and he writes this when it comes to disbelieving in gods. We are all atheists about most of the gods that humanity has ever believed in. Some of us just go one God further. Now, here's something really interesting. Did you know that in the first century, the first century Christians were considered atheists? I know it's weird, right? But they were because they didn't believe in all of the Roman gods. Did you know that in the first century, when the church began, the first Christians, they were considered atheists? Because the first Christians did not believe in the pantheon of Roman gods.